That's right, everyone. You are reading this title correctly. It is another drug bust in the world of track and field and distance running. This time, it's Zane Robertson from New Zealand. Now, Zane and his twin brother famously moved to Kenya when they were 17 years old. And this was about 15, 16 years ago, but they famously moved there in order to become the best distance runners that they could be. Because in East Africa, that's where many of the world's best distance runners train and where many of the best programs currently exist. And over the years, they ran extremely well. And Zane specifically has seen great success over the years. And to this day, he still holds the half marathon national record for New Zealand and also the marathon national record for New Zealand. However, it does seem as though these records are going to be called into question because he has just been busted for none other than EPO, which is the primary drug that Lance Armstrong used during his prime days during the Tour de France. This is just a continuation of what we have seen this season in 2023, and even beyond that, it goes back to 2022, when we have seen many, many individuals busted for doping, caught with using performance-enhancing drugs, and this is one of those cases where you can unravel the mystery pretty quickly if you had any access to the information. So what happened was, Zane was originally caught with his B sample during the Manchester Half Marathon in 2022. And it does take a few months to process things such as this in order to make sure that everything is done correctly. And during that time, an athlete is either on probation or they're actually not put on any kind of probation whatsoever. It just so happens that this time, Zane Robertson announced that he would be retiring from the sport instead of not running. This, of course, was met with many congratulations for a great career online. But just recently, I'm talking in the past 48 hours, this news has broken. And it really does seem as though the deception goes quite deep. So in Great Britain in 2022, they caught the B sample positive for EPO. And Zane's alleged excuse was that he went to a hospital in Kenya, was originally going there for a COVID-19 vaccine, and was erroneously given EPO. Now, honestly, I've never heard of any such thing as EPO for any prophylactic measure or, or any positive use in the medical industry. Perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps you guys could correct me on that. As far as I know, it's only ever been used for performance enhancing drugs. But so that was his excuse. He went to a Kenyan facility. They erroneously gave him this EPO and he even provided false documentation backing this up, including a false medical record number, which is a pretty bold move, but it's also a pretty easy thing to check and see if it's legitimate. And when they did go to that facility in Kenya to see if there was any overlap with reality, they were quickly met with the fact that this was completely made up. They were even able to meet up with the president of that facility, and the two names that Zane gave as the nurses who administered this actual injection either didn't work there, or it was a lab technician who never has any interaction with any patients. Of course, beyond that, a false medical record number is not going to show up in any database, and the fact that it didn't was a pretty big red flag. So now, some 10 months after this positive EPO test, Zane Robertson is now banned for eight years from any international sanctioned competition, which pretty much means his career is completely 100% over when it comes to the international scene. Now, Zane is currently 33 years old, so if he were to somehow stick around, he would be 41 until he was able to compete again on the international scene. This is just a huge bummer once again in the track and field world, and it does lead me to believe that there has to be more uncovering for more doping and more performance-enhancing drug use on the international scene. There have been a lot of athletes that have either been banned or put on probation this season, whether it be whereabouts failures or just a downright positive test. And this one's one of the big ones. This one is a national record holder, an athlete that has broken two hours and 10 minutes in the marathon, an athlete that has broken one hour in the half marathon. Sad news once again in the track and field world, and I don't mean to leave you on such negative news, but that's just the situation right now. And I'll make sure to leave a few links down below. Anyways, guys, that's about it. See ya.